Hi Aries and welcome to your May tarot reading. My name is Julia Aurelia and I'm going to pull the Celtic cross with my magic soul tarot. I'll also pull some cards from the oracle, um, the, the moonology messages oracle and the healing waters oracle. So let's have a look. Oop, but I, no, that's too much. Okay, let's have a look. What are the energies for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. By the way, I can recommend, check out, in Vedic astrology, it's your sidereal chart, check out your Rahu sign. I have to say, I do resonate so much with my Rahu, uh, it's untrue. So uh, just as a little thing, I know we always say, check out your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus sign. I can recommend checking out your Rahu in Vedic astrology. So. What are the energy for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and or Rahu, <laughs> wherever you have really strong placements really, if you have a strong Aries, this is your reading. And we have the Hanged Man, seeing something from a different perspective, gaining new insights, um, maybe even a feeling of something is stuck. Uh, we do have the Nine of Wands and Strength, we have Four of Cups and Justice, then Four of Pentacles, your energy, Princess of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, Princess of Wands, and we have a beautiful outcome, the Three of uh, Cups. Bottom of the deck, underlying energy that is um, attached to this reading uh, is the Five of Swords. Now I read the card underneath as this is the, the red thread uh, that connects it all or sometimes it's an energy that might at the moment not be really visible but kind of like present with the five of swords let's start with this because that's the most challenging card here there's some sort of conflict or fight or argument um, energy that is somehow connected to your situation it might be an inner conflict it might be a conflict with a person outside of like with another person um, the five of swords can be somebody um, who's trying to manipulate, maybe not manipulate, but use you. Um, somebody who may be very selfish or egotistical, narcissistic. Um, somebody who wants to win at all costs, wants to be right at all costs. And doesn't really matter if he or she is losing um, maybe a good friend for this person. Winning is more important or being right is more important. So yeah, there is an underlying energy where let's say there is a person who's not very compassionate, not very nice, and where there is some sort of conflict connected to that situation. It is also a card that can involve standing up for yourself. So yes, while in an extreme that would go to extreme selfishness or narcissism, um, on the other hand, it might be, yeah, maybe you need to stand up and do what's necessary. So there is this energy with this card here as well. Let's see what we have for you in May. With the Hanged Man, I feel like, hey, you could see something now from a different perspective. Like I said, uh, you might gain insight and clarity connected to a situation. Uh, also, you might feel like you're just hanging in there and like something might not move. Um, the way you want it to. Maybe it is just a time of pause, of being still, uh, reflecting, maybe trying to see new perspectives uh, connected to a situation. Um, for some of you, this might even be a personality change. Um, there is an energy with the hanged man being upside down, where you might experience either with yourself or with another person some sort of um, personality change. Somebody could have changed like 180 degrees. In the past, what led to this situation was some sort of decision that could be connected to karma. Now with the justice card here, um, justice always reminds us of the consequences, consequences of choices um, that we make or the words that we speak and things that we then again choose to do. So there is an energy present where maybe in the recent past, <clears throat> oh one second, I just need to um, Turn off the incense. Do you know what? Always when I 
prepare the room. I like to have it nice and cozy and warm and incense. And then I forget to turn off the incense, which once I start talking, it directly affects my voice. So not very clever. I should have turned that off uh, a little bit earlier. <laughs> anyway, so just this. Uh, it reminds us of the um, of the consequences. So maybe you were facing some sort of consequences. It can be good ones. Uh, it's not always a bad thing. You might have faced really good consequences. It's like you get what you deserve. Maybe there was a choice that was very beneficial for you and you were like, oh yeah, that's great. That's uh, the result of my good work or my good deeds or whatever. Um, it also could have been obviously something where you in hindsight said, oh, I wish I would have chosen a different path back in the day or I wish I would have done something different and therefore for some of you this might even be negative consequences that you were facing. Uh, however, there was a very important choice um, that either you or another person made that affected you however in some shape or form and all of that is now leading basically at the moment for May into this energy of the hanged man. How do you feel with the Four of Cups not quite satisfied yet? So um, with the Four of Cups, it's like an energy, either you're bored of something, uh, that could be quite literally, it, it's the card of boredom. But I also feel like when we go through something again and again and again, at some time, we're just bored of it. Um, so it could be that kind of boredom, like, you know what, I've done this now, I've experienced this now again and again, I'm really bored of that situation right now, I am ready for new experiences. The Four of Cups can talk about a bit of a frustration energy because this card as well as the Hanged Man both, both talk about something that might not move forward at the moment. So you might feel a little bit stuck here, same with the hanged man, and maybe this is where the frustration energy comes in. On the other hand, with the four of cups, you could be very withdrawn. Why? Because this is the card where you, where you basically search your feelings, young Padawan, and you are looking into what do you need to be happy? How do you feel? I get a sense of processing feeling as well, being really withdrawn inwards. Um, so for some of you, this could also refer to some sort of offer that came in where you now need to reflect, is this really what I want? Um, going up to the nine of wands, what are you thinking about? Um, you are thinking about the past experiences connected to that situation that weren't always easy. There were struggle, there were conflict, um, there, were, there was struggle and conflict energy. Um, it wasn't always easy. Maybe if this is connected to some sort of relationship, the nine of wands can talk about the wounds of the past. So maybe something was hurtful, painful, and you're like, oh, I do not know if I still have the strength to, con to continue something. So with the nine of wands, you are probably tired and exhausted because of the journey that you've gone through. Um, may that relate to relationship in general and the wounding um, and the conflicts connected to that or may that connect to just, I mean, could be something connected to work as well <clears throat> where you're like, you know what, I, that was really difficult and I do not know if I have the strength, which is funny because you have this card here as well, which we're going to get to in a second. So I do not know if I have the strength to really do it if I think back onto the past. Um, there is an energy where you might, which is also interesting because it reflects back on how you feel. The nine of wands sometimes want to just withdraw, have a clear boundary, withdraw and heal and recover. And while the nine suggests that something is coming to an end, but is not fully done and over and dealt with, uh, it might suggest take the time that you need to recover your strength, but then pull yourself together and your strength, because there's something else that you need to do in order to finish something or complete something. We have the strength card here. Um, yeah, so that's your challenge, the strength card, <clears throat> which again could refer to what I just said. Strength. Um, could involve that your biggest challenge is to be courageous. Your biggest challenge could be being patient, which also could be something here, right? When something is stuck, not moving forward. Um, not for all of you, it's the stuck energy here. For some of you, it's just seeing things from a different perspective, right? So I'll give you all the possible uh, meanings of the cards and you just see what resonates for you. 
Um, however, with the strength card in the biggest challenge, it's maybe difficult for you to stay calm in a situation and to be relaxed. It's the card of breathe in, breathe out. Don't let um, anything trigger your wild animalistic nature, uh, which could be obviously quite destructive. So you don't want to go into fights and arguments, um, maybe because you feel something hasn't been fair or where you feel triggered in your sense of injustice and then explode. So this is a card where um, it's important, no matter what shows up, the best way forward is to use self-control in some shape or form and to not explode. Uh, maybe it's just difficult to control yourself at the moment um, and what's going on within you and your emotions and all of that. Um, again, it could simply mean you need to be courageous or you need to be patient. What comes towards you now is the Four of Pentacles and that talks about a solid foundation, talks about stability. Um, you might think about saving something um, or securing something. Um, obviously, in terms of money, this is about saving some money, securing something, making something secure. Uh, I could talk about that you feel in general stable, that you have a solid foundation and that you really worked for feeling stable and secure. However, it's not the big spending card. It's more like, okay, I got this and this is now what I can build upon. And the thing is, this is such an important card because if we do not have a solid foundation and build upon something that is not built on a solid foundation, at some point, very likely the tower will come in and just destroy everything because it wasn't built on a solid foundation. So this is actually a very important part where something in your life is now being built on a solid foundation and maybe that's something internally that you feel. Um, this card can also talk about holding on to something. Maybe, if it's not money, um, maybe you want to hold on to something else here uh, because it gives you a sense of security or stability. You yourself are the princess of pentacles, so you at the moment might think about where do I invest my work, my time, my energy, um, there might be some sort of new offer because the princess of um, pentacles is the page of pentacles. So that person basically decides to work on something. So in some shape or form, I feel like you decided to work on something or to um, could be a new work, but it's something that gives you stability. You are motivated by the pentacles. You're motivated in working on something or with something or someone now in order to gain this stable foundation, to gain more stability within you, that life or that situation. So you are with the princess of pentacles, you could be in some sort of planning phase, planning the next steps in order to, again, gain more stability within, uh, within you or in your life. So very pragmatic energy. You're very down to earth, very pragmatic. Okay, this is now what I do or what we do in order to create more stability. There is something clearing up for you outside of you. Um, now, this could be your outside. Um, this could be another person or it could be your outside influences and the effect it has on you. So something outside of you could finally, you could, sorry, you could see something quite clearly now in your outside environment. There's some sort of success or breakthrough connected to a situation where you might, you might have been confused about. And the Ace of Swords tells me that something is clearing up, the truth is revealed, a path, a strategy is revealed, maybe a solution is coming from the outside to you. Um, also, if this is another person, um, there might be a person who's very clear, very honest, and there could be some sort of communication be involved with that person. Again, I feel like it's going to help you to clear up something. Your hopes and fears with the Princess of Wands Princess of Wands is basically your energy, Aries. Um, so A, you could hope for feeling like yourself, um, to be in your energy, to feel um, happy with yourself, in yourself. Um, the Princess of Wands, however, is also an exciting opportunity or an offer. Maybe you're hoping for an exciting opportunity, an exciting offer, um, for maybe in general, you hope for new, a new spark, 
uh, a new hobby or something that really excites you. Um, your mind hoping for your spark of passion um, coming back into a situation. Uh, you might even feel um, or hope for um, feeling more energetic again. The Princess of Wands is somebody who initiates something. This person is like, I know what I want. This, I, I can't wait. I'm so interested in this thing and I'm so excited about it and I can't wait to just start this thing now. So maybe you hope for this energy to happen, that you get some excitement because you are quite pragmatic at the moment down to earth and maybe you're simply hoping to get this excitement spark back again. Or like I said, you're hoping for a very exciting offer or opportunity here. It's all going to lead to the Three of Cups, which is a, a meeting that is a very a joyful meeting, a coming together with friends, with a, a social network, could be work colleagues. But there's something connected to you sharing nice moments, beautiful moments with other people. Um, maybe there is a party that could be quite literal, uh, something to celebrate. Um, it could be a reunion. Maybe you are reuniting, meeting a person here and you're really having a nice time. Um, so it's a beautiful energy to, um, to move into. Mm. It could be uh, working together with others harmoniously. It could be teamwork if it is connected to work. It could be just like having a nice group meeting, gathering um, that is going to be very joyful for you. And we have higher power, moon goddess. All right, so I do feel like with the higher power and the moon goddess um, that this situation is guided by a higher power. So um, even though there are some struggles here, I feel like this is meant to happen right now. So just trust in the divine, uh, surrender and uh, know that the higher powers are guiding you here within that situation. Let's pull one more card. Okay, this card wants to come out. So, making waves, yeah, there you go. Momentum is building, it's your time and achievement. Um, even though you might feel at the moment, for some of you, like I said, there are two cards that would indicate the feeling of stuck, uh, being stuck, uh, something not moving forward. Uh, this could just be a little pause, a pause to reflect, basically, because also two cards here that also include the meaning of reflecting, of gaining insights. Um, however, in general, the momentum for you is building and it's now your time. There is an achievement that I feel is maybe not there yet, but soon to come. So soon, um, how it feels is like the energy for you is now building up and at the right time, mm, supported by the higher powers, there is something that you're going to achieve here. It might refer to the Four of Pentacles or the Three of Cups, um, but I do feel there's a really nice achievement waiting for you that you're now building up towards. All right, Aries, this is your reading for May. I hope you resonate with it. If so, please leave a like, a comment or subscribe to the channel. And I'm looking forward to do your next reading. And I do plan to be more active on this channel again. So uh, yeah, leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel so you will be definitely present for the next reading. All right, guys, see you next time.